Here's something you probably didn't know. Palm oil is the most popular vegetable oil on the planet. Nearly 2 million tons were consumed in the U.S. alone last year. But harvesting palm oil can have detrimental effects on our environment. CBS's Nancy Chen shows us one company offering a sustainable alternative. What scientists are brewing up inside this New York City lab could dramatically change the products you use every day. Yeast is really the heart of what you're doing. Yeast is everything. Shara Tikyu, co-founder of C16 Biosciences, took us inside the lab where they're growing an alternative to palm oil. Palm oil is responsible for making hand soaps foam and cleanse. It makes the color stay on your lipstick and on your lips, and it helps create a smooth, spreadable emulsion in peanut butter. But it can be as destructive as it is versatile. The World Wildlife Foundation says large-scale palm oil harvesting destroys rainforests and pollutes communities. Still, it's found in half of all products on supermarket shelves. In a statement to CBS News, a trade group for the palm oil industry says curbing the immediate impacts of palm oil production will require solutions that are already scalable. C16 Biosciences won't give specifics, but says it produces metric tons of palm oil every week. Now it's partnering with beauty companies and hoping to expand to food. Gernot Wagner is a climate economist. Could the solution to this be found in a lab? Big question, of course, is this sort of approach the one that will in fact be scalable and that doesn't have its own negative, broader environmental, societal costs? For Tiku, the proof is in the process. Our process today takes about six days from when we start the process until we extract the oil. If you plant that today, it takes seven years. Seven years to six days, that's a huge speed up of this process. That's the power of biology. A power growing in potential. Nancy Chen, CBS News, New York.